Hi, this is Adam Lefkoff. And this is Kaylee George. And we're here to watch Group 2 of the quarterfinals from the Papa A World Championships played last summer. Uh, in this group, we have top seed Zach Sharp. He was the two seed overall, and he's the top seed in this group. The uh, second seed in this group was Joshua Henderson, who uh, is only about 13, 14 years old. Kaylee, you know how old Josh is? Yeah, right about in that age. He's uh, yeah. probably the youngest, uh, definitely the youngest player ever to qualify in A. Absolutely, and this will be his first day. It'll be interesting to see how he does. The third player in the group, uh, someone you might be familiar with, uh, Kaylee George. Yep, that's me. That will be interesting. Uh, rather than trying to guess what the players were thinking as we uh, go along here, we might actually uh, we'll just ask them. And uh, the fourth player at a surprising 14th seed was uh, Keith Elwin, the reigning three-time Papa World Champion. Uh, I would say he got in by the skin of his teeth, but I know that 14th seed is probably not where he uh, was hoping to be for this, but uh, having Keith in the group will uh, always make it interesting. So uh, once again, another group full of great players, and uh, we expect an excellent match here. Uh, the first game will be on Monster Bash. And, uh, Kaylee, what, tell us about this Monster Bash. Uh, yeah, this Monster Bash uh, is set up pretty tough. Uh, outline poster up, and uh, we've got some of that squirrely flipper rubber action on there, as we've been seeing in previous matches. So, um, it's going to be pretty hard for people to control the ball, and uh, it'll be really interesting to see uh, how everyone uh, chooses to attack this game. Alrighty, so let's uh, get started and we'll see if anyone can get to Monster Bash or Monsters of Rock or even get their drack up and get to that first multi-ball. So let's have a look. Okay, so first player is Kaylee George. Uh, he must have chosen this game rather than go second. That I did. Uh, and uh, here we go, it's coming down. You can see I give it a knock off the right rail as it came down by Dracula. And uh, you will really want to do that each time uh, balls feeding out of the pops as ball can tip off of Dracula's toe and uh, oh, come right nice, down the center. That was a nice uh, shake off the uh, side rail there. Looks like you're going straight for Bride. You've got your three left Brides. Yep, uh, Monster Bash, uh, you've got just about 30 to 27 shots to get yourself really in line for Monsters of Rock, depending on how the game's set up. And I like to shoot the three left ramps, two of the rights, leave one left on the right ramp, and work on some of the other monsters, setting them up to hopefully uh, pull them into a bash. That's right, if you get all those monsters running during bash, the uh, timer stops and you can generally pick up all your instruments and get straight into Monsters of Rock. Uh, although this is the first... Oh! There's an uh, unlucky drain off of Frank. Yeah, you know, it's really tough playing Monster Bash head-to-head -head in competition. Sometimes you get a little excitable and try and get some Frank hits to guarantee yourself a multi-ball and I... Uh, I think I uh, dropped my strategy there and tried to peck off a target, and I paid that price. So our second player is Keith Elwin, and uh, I suspect he's going to be doing uh, similar, shooting the uh, the loops there. It, uh, it picks up your Wolfman progress as well as drops it into the uh, pops to uh, get hits for the mummy. And uh, you know, just barely made it around. Let's see Keith working on those uh, those ramps as well. And getting a few, uh, you always want to get a few Frank hits in. Uh, that's the only time really the ball is a bit wild and out of play, So, but you got to yeah. survive them. Yeah, and you can Ooh. see Keith was just uh, barely hitting that Frankenstein target and actually getting a ramp pickup as well. It was a uh, nice combo to the right ramp, which is generally the harder bride ramp to hit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, ball had a lot of spin coming off those rubbers, almost uh, lost control of it there. Ball just doesn't want to go all the way around. It's coming back. There's a nice uh, live catch there. Yep, nice little uh, drop kick, catch action, get the ball back in control. You know, it's interesting where the ball's feeding there. Uh, often you'll see the ball uh, come off that target next to that ramp a little bit more and go into the sling. So it looks actually nice that it's actually giving the player a chance to get it on the flipper before it uh, gets out of control and the back. He does another left ramp, right ramp combo, and also picks up another drag hit. I don't think he's... so he's one shot away from starting Bride. Let's see uh, if he tries to work now on the Creech. Yeah, I guess uh, my bet would be that Keith is uh, going to leave that uh, right ramp Bride shot uh, there and uh, work on uh, getting some other monsters ready to go. 
You also see that Keith did a few discovery shots there on the left ramp and realized that he can hold the left flipper up as it's coming down and bump right over into a nice trap on the right. And uh, that's pretty, uh, pretty rare for Monster Bash to be able to do that that easily. And uh, that's a, a huge thing to learn on Mall 1. Excellent point. You also were doing that, and I think you might have picked it up from when you were doing it even. Although you do have to give it a little nudge. Now he's got, uh, I don't know if he meant to do that, but Frank is ready to go now, and you have to be careful not to accidentally hit Frank before starting any of your <laughs> other monsters, which is yeah. all done. It's, uh, yeah, it's, Monster Bash is pretty wild. Um, you know, when the ball gets out of the control, sometimes you can't put it in a trap, and you've got to put the ball somewhere. And, and every once in a while, you get those wires crossed in your brain, and you... Uh, hit towards Frank and pull out that multi-ball when you really don't want to activate it. So, so it's important to have uh, those ramps or those orbits in your uh, bag of tricks of where you want to put the ball. So uh, Keith has one more shot on the uh, orbits, which is the uh, wolf man. Yeah, but I'm guessing he's going for creature. Let's see. Let's see if he tries that creature shot. Yep, oh. it was a little late on it. Just a little late. Got to try and find that creature shot. He's going to try again. Try again. And oh, there, there he gets it. So now, generally, I would generally let's see if he. Yep, that's the most people generally no flip, and you get it back on the left. Yep, that yeah, pretty you can clean. see um, it came around nice into a nice little trap. He can post pass and then uh, take another shot. Let's see if he has found that. Oh, he's a little late. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh, oh. Boy, you don't see that very often. That was a flipper error. Yeah, a bit of pilot error there. Definitely could have had a uh, good piece of the ball with that left flipper. First ball of Papa Finals, maybe a little bit of jitters for Keith. I mean, not really, but yeah. All sure. right. Speaking of jitters, we got Josh Henderson here in his first Papa A Finals, oh, oh. and I would, uh, yep, love yeah, to see almost, how he does uh, here. He almost lost the ball right there in the beginning. Here it's coming back. Let's see how he handles it. And, uh, well, looks like he was almost indecisive about a, a dead pass or a trap there. A little late. Uh, not hitting much right now. He's trying to. He doesn't. Not really found a shot yet. But uh, he's a, certainly a, a, an excellent scrappy player and can keep the ball alive for long periods of time. There's his loop shot. Seems pretty happy about that. The ball seems to be uh, kissing off that right sling on the feed from the right side, and it's probably too tilty a game to really give it a, a bump there. Yeah, well, you can see on uh, on my ball one, you were able. To, I was able to give it a little bit of a slap, and uh, I think that's that's available on the way this one was set up. Um, just a nice little knock as it's riding that uh, metal rail on the right, uh, get the ball out of that sling area. Yeah, he seems to have the uh, scoop shot down. <laughs> yeah, how many shots for Lyman's Lament? Let's see. <laughs> Only 46 to go. <laughs> oh, right, 45. Uh, he's getting a, picking up a few frank hits. Uh, he's got a... Yeah, there's his second mush. Yeah, really still hasn't really got quite control of the ball. I'm not really sure if uh, Josh is executing a strategy here or he's just got a little bit of jitters trying to feel the game out. Uh, first game of uh, Papa Finals. Yeah, he's not making his shots, but he is keeping the ball alive. I uh, would like to see him catch there. He picks up a right ramp. That's yeah. good. Oh, getting away with murder just... <laughs> barreling the ball into Frank. You know, uh, often you'll see players, if they're actually trying to hit, pick up Frank hits, just carry them the ball off the Dracula targets into the Frank targets, or uh, shoot from a I trap on the left. He's, uh, I'd like to, he hasn't had a catch in a while. He's just flipping away here. Oh, oh. and there's a tough drain out the uh, pops to the left side. That yeah, was that's a pretty rough. nasty down the middle. Uh, so I don't know if he really got a good feel of the game there or not, but... Uh, yeah, surprisingly, he was able to pick up quite a few shots on different monsters and uh, made, made a good amount of progress. Okay, so here's Zach, our top seed in the group, and he gets to go last for it. And as he saw from Keith, you uh, don't need to flip out of the creech. It's a nice little nudge there. Gets yeah, that a was frank. Great. Yeah. Oh, a backhand to the right ramp. Don't <laughs> see that very often. I can't imagine that was intentional. And Zach is also aware of the hold the left flipper up, little bump. Yeah, not yeah. every time. Yeah, not quite into a trap, but still enough to uh, get a good piece Very of the ball. nice control there. Another right ramp. Another Frank hit. Zach's looking pretty good here at the start. Ooh, that was a great little save on that uh, left outlay. Did a nice little shake and pulled it right out of there. I'd like to see him get settled. Oh, oh settle. those are Peace. bouncing squirrely. Just feel like he wants to settle this ball. All right, here it's coming down. 
No flipping. Oh! oh. Sling drain. Tough. I guess uh, everyone's going to be live catching that ball from then on out on those left uh, left ramp rejects. Yeah, the uh, the dead pass looks uh, like it could have some uh, sketchy outcomes. All right, so uh, here we I are on ball two. What yeah, are you thinking? I, I'm going to go for uh, go for some orbits. Uh, try and pick up Wolfman, get him lit. Um, and uh, if I stop making my shots, I'll probably uh, pull the uh, eject button and start opening Frank. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Keith made a lot of good progress. Zach and uh, Josh, not so much. So, uh, you know, Monsters of Rock probably isn't even on. It's more of a get in the bash should be uh, probably a first or second for sure. Yeah, definitely. And, and so just, uh, I've got two two shots for Wolfman. I'll probably pick up one more, then start working on uh, creature shots. There you go. A little sneak in. And, uh, oh, couldn't quite grab it. Yeah, let's see if you can get it back. Ooh. Oh, almost, oh my goodness, two in a row. Right up the... You were pretty fortunate not to start old Frank there. Oh, death, you know. Like, get it on the... Fl oh, okay. Starting Ooh. Wolfman early is uh, is just terrible. You end yes. up having to, uh, you know, if you're ever going for a rock, you're going to have to uh, shoot it up into the pops again, and it's just so deadly. Um yeah, you know, there, some... you got unlucky. The kick out from uh, Creech, it didn't stay on your flipper. It went off the end there, and you flicked it out to the outline. Yeah, I don't know. Just kind of terrible play there. I, I got kind of rattled uh, accidentally activating that Wolfman. And, uh, that sort just of put you off of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so here's Keith now and on his second ball, and he's, also, he's got the most progress of anyone. His Frank's ready, his Wolfman's ready. Uh, uh, Keith just had a lot of nice little nudges over that right out lane. Perfect way to just pick it off the top of that sling and put it back into play and get it out of there. Huh, looking for a post pass there. Is yeah, he ready for, to just go ahead and... targets. Uh, I imagine was what he's going to do here. Let's see. see. Oh, no, uh, Bride. He go ahead and pulls the trigger on Bride. Now is he just going to go ahead and go into Frank here or maybe bring in Wolfman? Looked like maybe he was going for Wolfman that there. That was a Wolfman shot. That man, that one was too. That uh, right side is a little tougher to hit. Quite hitting him there. No hurry to ride. Oh. oh, you know, I don't think he probably meant to do that. That looked like more of a reflex shot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, so here, uh, if uh, Keith hits uh, Frankenstein right off the uh, the drop out of the ramp, there he'll pick up uh, two pieces and uh, be that much closer to his keyboard. There he goes. There And uh, so right now, Keith's going to be trying to uh, pick up a lot of nice uh, supers by hitting Frank, get his keyboard, but also uh, hopefully complete his microphone for Bride. Um, yep, and all the timers are stopped during multi-ball, so he has his leisure to do that while all these balls are in play. I would uh, expect to see at least an L win here at some point. Let's see, he's got three balls in play. He's got, uh, oh, almost. Oh, there, there we you go. go. There it is. Take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to pick up, so now he's got his three Tip it over. Rides. Oh, kind of bungled that, but back into a nice position. Look at that. Back to the Elwood. <laughs> hey, back on the right ramp. Watch, he's going to try it. Uh -oh. No. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of, this is almost like doing spinners on uh, Spider-Man with two on the left. You could uh, yep. You could just keep feeding it up. Definitely. Just this flick is, it over watch right here. this little oh, flick. Perfect. Oh, lovely. Oh, very nice. You know, most players don't have the guts to do it that way. To just nudge that ball right off the end. That's excellent. Yeah, you know, it's almost like doing a tap pass. You just have to commit to it and uh, trust that it's going to work out. Yeah, here, he's there just a little uh, again. Oh, oh, a little. Oh, yeah, oh. didn't get the flick. You know, sometimes on Monster Bash, the, the flippers are it's a little hard to get that. Definitely. Flick. Um, but boy, he's showing some great patience here. This is uh, this is stellar play. Yep. And uh, you know, during multi ball on Monster Bash, you can uh, work towards Mummy through pop bumper hits. So taking jackpots up the left or right orbits, putting it into the pops is going to build you towards that uh, that monster and uh, get you that much closer to your first bash. That's an excellent point, and I think that's what he was thinking. And uh, that was a bit of a didn't go for a cradle separation there. Looked like he was doing a little over under, and it didn't work out for him. But uh, oh, there's a nice, oh, very nice Double. set Great of combos job. there. 
I might have. Uh, he has one more shot on the uh, bride to pick up the microphone. Oh, almost the Lazarus. Almost, almost came back into play. That was great. Oh, and there's the microphone. I didn't see his last shot there. Is there any other way? Maybe he had a... Uh, he might have had a bomb on the... Uh, yeah, not sure. His hand went off screen for a second. On the, so, uh, on the button. From but, uh, so he's got his two instruments. Uh, two for two. Yep. He's still on board for rock is still viable. Yep, you can see uh, he's got mummy lit at the scoop. Next time he puts it in there, he'll start mummy. He's uh, got uh, a couple letters up on track. Yep, and Wolfman, there's two of the... That's halfway through. Oh, and I uh, like it, doing the full commitment to uh, Wolfman, picking up good points, and yep. uh, finishing One up more. his uh, drum set. Oh, he's done. there, he picked up his drum. Nice. So three for three. Drac and uh, Mummy are ready to go on the scoop. A little uh, cross-side hand wipe down there. If he can start Creech, he could uh, bring all three of those into Bash and get straight into Rock. Yep, so I'm thinking we'll see a post-pass to Creech here. Yep. So let's see what happens. Oh, thinking about it. Thinking about it, yeah. Let's Not sure. Oh, oh, wow. Goes ahead and starts Mummy and Drac. Interesting. I guess at 6 of 1 half, it, well, the timer gets a little funny. Uh, yeah, you have a little, a little less time to do it. You know, I mean, if uh, he worked on uh, Creature there and started Creature, putting it in that scoop would have lit Bash, and uh, one more back in there uh, would have pretty much guaranteed him a rock. But, uh, you know, with what everyone else is doing in this game, being the first game of quarterfinals at Papa, I think maybe Bash is probably, uh, yeah, it might you be know, should a be enough. Far. Yeah, without starting with a rock, but uh, no, that was interesting. I'll have to ask him about that next time I see him. Um, although, you know, he's not real. It seems like the only shot he hasn't really found here. Oh, there it is. Uh, that Creech shot off the cradle seems a little tough. Yeah, so uh, two more shots into Creature up the left there, and uh, we'll have Monster Bash lit at the scoop. He's still got the uh, timer going. If he can get it done, let's see, he's yeah. got about, yeah, he's got a little bit time to get this done. Yeah, he that's still... Mummy sticking down fast, though. And uh, been hitting a lot of drag shots, not too many mummies. Uh, let's see what he does here. Yeah, he would have to start Bash before Mummy times out, or he's not going to finish it otherwise. You... No back here. Yeah, once you start Mummy, you're pretty much committed. Uh, going back into the pops that many times to build up another one is, uh, is pretty much suicide. A nice little flick. Yeah, so one more shot will light his bash. No, there he goes. On the scoop. Let's should come right back to that left flipper. Track's gonna be in the way. And oh, it's open. opened up. First try. Oh, nope. So close. Oh, almost <laughs> down the middle. Good save. Creature shot on the fly. Bash is lit. Ooh, get up. Trying oh, to get man. it. Okay, second try. Bam. There he goes. All right. He's pretty certain to pick up his uh, saxophone here, but didn't quite get uh, get those other it's instruments. Like, yeah, Drac and Mummy timed out, so he'll be too short. Uh, yep, so every shot here is worth, uh, worth some good points, and uh, if you can send it up the middle, uh, get a super jackpot that uh, caps out after a couple shots. Do you, uh, or does instrument bonus kick in during... Uh Bash, or it's not till afterwards that the instrument bonus. Uh, uh, it's tough to tell. Yeah. Um, exactly. Probably not during bash, I don't think. Yeah. But, uh, what, one thing that does hang out during bash is if you have bride going, you can pick up your uh, 3x bride complete shots. Um, so you can add an extra, uh, you know, million, quite uh, a bit. million eight to each uh, each shot, which makes a bride super lucrative to pull into uh, monster bash. So there's a little modified L1 with the ball stacked up there. Yep, so tip it over. Oh, oh nice. nice. Flick. Oh, that was lovely. Working Put the other ball up, nicely. waiting in anticipation. Yeah, he's making some great shots here. It was a great way to handle the kick out from Creature 2. Um, able to rattle it a little bit and get a tip off that ball back over the right flipper. Boy, he's hit about seven or eight shots perfectly in a row there. Uh, generally on bash, you, you know, about a 70 million is a really good monster bash, maybe 100 million. Yeah. Uh, oh, super. Oh, <laughs> Those would oh. Be, uh, great. Still, though, well, okay. well played. And, Very nice. Uh, and so we should see some uh, instrument bonus shots now. He can hit that left loop. 
Should be uh, one, two, three, four instruments, I want to say. Maybe 1.3 million. Yeah, definitely. Um, good points available uh, there. See. And man, he's got about 163 to 65 million. It's a giant score for ball two in, uh, in this competition. Yeah, he's got to feel good about that. Especially on ball two, you don't. That scoop seems harder to hit on ball three for some reason. And every other player here is watching this, going, "Oh God, now what do I have to do?" <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> of course, me, I'm starting to think about playing for second at this point. But I know you still uh, you thinking about. Well, you want to trying to bash. You want to pick up the points where you can. And if you feel you're strong at games, you want to uh, you want to try and play them as deep as possible. But you also. Uh, Definitely don't want to pick up a zero anytime during uh, Papa Finals. So, um, you know, modifying your strategy, make sure you pick up a point at least, uh, is always a good idea if you're uh, playing against somebody's uh, really good game here. Excellent point. Keith is uh, very comfortable here. Yep, you know, and often at, at a point like this, you'll see players uh, pull up a bit and then just play uh, Creature over and over again uh, for the rest of their game. Uh, it can be worth a ton of points. Um, for a relatively uh, low number of shots to start, but Keith's had a lot of trouble hitting that shot, and I think that's why he wasn't going that route. Like he was going back to Bride, but uh, yeah. excellent ball from Keith there. Yeah, also. very nice. So here comes uh, Josh Anderson. Uh, let's see if he has a little better success on this ball, making some shots here. Yep, there he's got uh, Frank open, so uh, should be able to have a multi-ball before the game's over. Uh, I wonder if Josh knows the game well, whether he's going to try to start some other... Monsters before going into front. Nope, he goes right oh, up to not. Frank. Could, could huh. be that he's unfamiliar with the game. Yeah, um, it, it's a tough game if you don't know the rules. It, they, we sort of take it for granted uh, if you play it a lot. But uh, it's not a, you know, it's a three-ball multi-ball and a good ball saver. You can get some decent points just playing Frank. Definitely. And given that it's ball two, it would have been a, a good idea to try and work on some other monsters and pull them in there for sure. Yeah, at least at least uh, Wolfman, which was ready to go and. Uh, his bride was pretty close too. So. Yeah. All right. So All right. he's got uh, two balls trapped. Let's see if he cradle separates here. Or oh, I'm not sure what what was going on there. That's interesting. There's an over under, but the uh, over went under and uh, under went over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I it just That's doesn't seem real trap. comfortable playing the L1 style. I won't. Uh, yeah. It looks like uh, looks like Josh isn't too comfortable. Uh, hanging on to one ball and uh, waiting to see what the other one's doing. Uh, seems to like uh, put both balls in action, which seems a bit risky to me. Seems risky, but I'll tell you, it's working for him. He's, yeah, definitely. Uh, All right, here's another little uh, tip over. See. Oh, that was very nice. Like that. There we go. All right, so ooh, I would have liked to see that ball come to full rest. Yeah, man, that's one of those chances again. where you, uh, you know, trap up and uh, take a breather. <laughs> yeah, get right back into but, it. Uh, it's more of an Andre uh, Masenkov sort of style there. Just fire away. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I think I think Andre knows when to uh, when to take a deep breath. So he took the uh, the. If you don't get the uh, keyboard, uh, Frank gives you an opportunity to bash on him some more in single ball play. But that's not really a good thing. Oh, he's hitting on the fly here. Yeah, oh, you know, Adam, it's interesting. There's a uh, interesting rule with uh, Frank in this state. You know. Oh, Sometimes that's a well-deserved drain there. You'll see players <laughs> intentionally not pick up the keyboard, and if they're going to come out a multi-ball with Monster Bash lit, uh, if you start Monster Bash, uh, you can keep Frank down and collect keyboards during Bash. And oh, it's actually a legitimate strategy a lot of people will try. Uh, so uh, go ahead and uh, give that a shot at home if you've uh, got the opportunity. <laughs> So here's Zach, who has started Bride. He needs one more hit. Oh, oh no. gosh. Zach, that's a tough drain because he needed one more hit on Frank. And I think he probably would have gone right into it with Bride running. That could have been some good points there. So unlucky for Zach on ball two. And uh, so here we are, ball three. Yeah, so right now. Um, what are you going to do? Are you going to start Bride with tough. Three, I'm three thinking shots? of pulling out and taking Frankenstein. There I go. There you go. Doing it right now. Uh, so you intentionally hit that without bringing anything else. We just gave Josh. Well, that was ball two. Yeah, looking at the other three. scores, you know, I know this game pretty well. Um, it'd be nice to lay down a foundation with uh, Frankenstein jackpots. And when I come out, um, it's going to take a lot of work, no matter how I do it, to uh, eclipse key score in this situation. So uh, doing the work ahead of time or after I've got a foundation to score is uh, 
you know, six to one. So might as well yep. do it early, make sure I can pull some points out of this game. Well, I think it was a I think it's a good choice, especially on game one and uh, the beginning of the match where points are important. Oh my goodness! Uh, Double drain. I don't know if it's Donovan on camera, but say, I'm sure I. Uh, said some choice words there. Yes, that's what we <laughs> we now know as a simultaneous event. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> New t-shirt. Oh, barely able to pull that ball back in that, uh, that outlane. Okay, you got mummy lit though, and you're not, yep. you know, bash isn't too far away, really. Yeah, not too many shots. I suspect I'll take, a, uh, take uh, some creature shots here and try and just finish my creature uh, by itself. And that would uh, give me some more good points, and uh, hopefully uh, get me back towards uh, uh, get on track for some pop points in this match. And that appears to be what you're doing. Uh, and you can see there, oh. uh, as I'm uh, getting the ball trapped, I'm flicking the opposite flipper a little bit. That uh, helps the ball settle, uh, kind of a force of habit in all situations. Uh, but sometimes if you get the ball rolling up towards the edge of the flipper, you can uh, stop it from uh, falling off the end. That's what that's all about. It's, uh, you're hitting every other shot there, and now you've started uh, Creature. Yeah, the great thing about Creature is you can uh, yeah. pick up Creature shots by putting it back in Creature. So here we go, there some Creature you go. shots. Yeah, if you can hit that shot consistently, you really don't have to... Oh, right oh, off the end. God. Oh, okay. <laughs> that I'll sucks. Go for a loop there. No oh, safety of... All right. Yeah, a little drop catch, maybe. A live catch it. Oh, oh. drop. Uh, Got to get control again. Uh, oh, dear. Look at that. Oh, you know what? That's a purple rubber drain there. Yeah, that, I think that, so. That ball should have <laughs> hopped over to the right side. you see it? It just had some back, weird backspin to go right down the middle. You'd used your warning already, so you really couldn't slide save at that point. Boy, that's a pretty unlucky. You had some good points on the table there. Yeah, it's tough. You know, you take a little bit of a risk uh, trusting the uh, dead pass out of Creature here. Um, the live trap would certainly do the trick without as much uh, potential for problems. Um, just the timing of executing it. So you can do no better than one point. Uh, you're done with uh, 16 million 600 thousand or so. Uh, Josh yeah. Henderson is at 17 million, and uh, so you got to hope for. Oh, there's a tilt from Keith. Yep. So you can see there. I mean, you know, it is a pretty sensitive machine. We're getting away with a little bit on it, but uh, you can. Yeah, it looks like you can nudge a bit for the outlines, but you're not going to get a slide save. Yeah, definitely not. So uh, Josh here has at least one point in hand and a pretty good lead on uh, Zach. Yep. He, uh, so there he picks up his uh, his Wolfman and uh, second monster started. Uh, quite a bit of work to go to uh, get to a bash and uh, start uh, knocking on Keith's score. Especially if you're not familiar with the game and you're spraying your shots around. Yeah. So, um, right. You know, at this point, it's really not in his interest to try and complete any of these modes. Uh, he just I wants agree. to start them and uh, keep firing shots getting towards bash. Yep, that's a good point. Uh, the finishing, there's, there's no point in trying to pick up a few instruments here. You really just got to get to the bash now. It's the only hope to try to come close to the score that Keith put up. Man, why can't, uh, why can't my shots just magically fly into uh, the scoop when I have oh, modes no, lit? Don't be <laughs> <laughs> I want that to happen. Oh, oh man! Oh, that's an unlucky call, uh, uh, slap save there. It was kind of a yeah. I'll call pilot error on that too. He had a piece yeah. of that with both flippers, and uh, you know it was kind of like an anti-slap save where it where it just kind of knocked it back and forth and kept it in the center, and it fell down again. <laughs> okay, so here's Zach as player four, and this is oh, meltdown. Never got a chance. You know, it's the whole Jeez. point of being player four is knowing what everyone else has already completed, and you know exactly what you need to do. And right there, Zach knew all he needed to do was get one hit on Frank, possibly bring one more monster in with him, or just play Frank, and he could have probably, uh, with a decent multi-ball, been able to pass Josh for second place there. Oh, definitely. But uh, he never got the ball on the flipper. That right out lane seemed to be his enemy in this game. Uh... And he took, a, ended up taking the last, which is the thing you don't want to do in the first game of a uh, Papa style. Yeah, that's a really tough way to uh, start out the match. You know, such a good player, uh, had a lot of bad luck, but you know, uh, secretly in the background, I was jumping up and down getting that one point. You were happy to get that point at 16 million, and one point is a way better than zero points. 
And uh, so Josh Anderson uh, takes two points in that game, and Keith Elwin with a uh, well-deserved four. Uh, the next game we will uh, take a look at in a little while, and we'll see how these uh, everyone in this group responds to that uh, opening uh, salvo. Next game up, F14 Tomcat. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.